Have you got twenty to thirty thousand dollars for a Blanc Pong Fifty Fathoms, which is my dream watch, by the way? Uh, no, but wait, love that design. So what are you going to do? Well, maybe you could take a look at the Tourneck Rayville TR660 or the TR900. Uh, not attainable. Bull of a Mill Ships W2181, most affordable Blanc Pong or Tourneck Rayville alternative on the market. <laughs> Created years ago during the Buy America Act to get around the design build between the US and the Swiss, Navy and Special Forces divers wanted the Blanc Pong, but couldn't get the Swiss parts back in the US. We're talking about the 1950s here, something like that anyway. That's when the Tornick Rayville was built. His version of the 50 Fathoms, signed with his name of course, Tornick, and then Rayville. If you want to get yourself the Tornick Rayville TR660, you can't just go to an authorized dealer and buy it. You have to go to the Tornick Rayville website and try to get yourself a spot in the next opportunity when they will have a release. It just doesn't work for me. Now, Bolivar originally wanted to be a part of this whole process. That's why they tried to get in on the bid for this specific watch design. However, the military were stuck on Blanc Pong and they wanted to have that design and parts uh, for the reliability. Nonetheless, Bolova stuck to the design and this is now the reissue of that 1950s design. Although not selected, still a workhorse. Bolova Mill Ships W2181, it has similar design features and specs to the original from the 1950s. Let's put the white gloves on and get a bird's eye view. Now the costs, the standard edition, $895 US. Mine was out the door, bought it on one of my cruises at the duty free store for $671. No taxes. Deals are out there, just gotta be able to find them. Now let's look at the case, the dial, the strap, the costs, similarities between it and its bigger sister, the limited edition reference 98A265. The overall feelings of the watch and the wearability, it's been two weeks on the wrist now and it's been in the ocean, it's been in the pool, it's been in the hot tub. I think it's been through enough lifestyle tests that I can give you a fair assessment of its wearability and my personal thoughts on the Millships W2181 Standard Edition. Now the case, we have a 41 millimeter brushed stainless steel with drilled lugs for easy strap changes. That's if you can find a strap at a 16 millimeter lug connection. Could be tougher, but not impossible. I may know a guy. <laughs> 50.6 millimeter lug to lug, 15.6 millimeter thickness, and 86 grams out of the box strap and all. Now stainless steel bezel finished off with sapphire crystal ensuring great strength and durability, not to mention ultimate visibility. And a six millimeter bull of a sign screw down crown rounds out this beauty. Now the recreation of this stunner also comes with some pleasant uniqueness. Tell me what you think about this push in bezel operation. Let me show you how you need to push in and turn to the appropriate direction to set the desired time at which time the watch now locks into position giving the diver or the user the accurate ability to monitor without fear. And that's a great touch. It's all about peace of mind, and I like it. Only thing I miss, that is the limited edition bezel has the loomed markers, and that would have been a great addition 
to this particular design model. Now the dial, it's a stunner under that significantly domed sapphire crystal, let me tell you. And matte black, beautiful, under loomed cathedral hands and shaped markers. The loom is okay, but you would have a hard time coming in the top five in the watches of this category. So they need to step it up a little bit, I believe. Applied Bulova at the 12 and an awesome moisture indicator at the 6. This is just great. Now this is to show that the diver or wearer, that if there is a moisture leak or it has penetrated the watch, it is no longer safe for dive time monitoring operation. The faux patina for the design is classy, as it is based on the vintage design. We're talking about 1950s, and it's on point. The movement for this beauty is the Miyota 82S0 for this three-hand movement. A little different from its big sister who's using the Salita SW200, but the price is on point and it's more affordable. Hacking and hand winding, this Miyota is cooking at 21,600 vibrations per hour, a 3 hertz mover with a 42 hour power reserve. Now the strap, the strap is a nylon woven blue strap with reinforced leather holes. It's obviously thin for that lug connection but uses a brushed buckle to finish off the strap with the options of that nylon support as well. It's plain and, you know, maybe it could use some accent stitching to kind of spice it up a little bit, but overall it's practical and it works. I don't know about you, but I probably will never own a Blanc Pong 50 Fathoms in my lifetime, and Tornick Rayville is not readily available. So, Bulova, I choose you. Oh, Captain, my Captain. That's a Dead Poet Society reference. Two weeks on the wrist with the Bolova Millships W-2181 Standard Edition. I'm the Covert Crow, you can call me Ross. Do those fancy things, like, so YouTube knows with the algorithm that you're happy with what you've seen, or if you're sad about it and you're not too happy with it, just leave a comment and let me know. I'll put some better stuff up there for you. Hit the bell, you'll get notified when the next video drops. It's that simple. Subscribe to the channel because more content is coming. Leave a comment, ask a question, do what you got to do, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Bulova Mill Ships, W2181, Standard Edition. Thanks for coming to the channel. Watches, sunglasses, lifestyle. See you on the next one.